Hi guys, so I've been buying quite a lot of uh, beauty products recently, so I thought I'd do a beauty haul. Um, the things I have been buying, I don't know why I've been buying so many of them, I just seem to go in there, Superdrug or Boots, and just pick up things and I'm like, oh, I'll try it, give that a try, and then I never try them. And I've been trying a lot of things recently that I've bought, so I'm going to give you a haul and a little review on some of the things I've bought. So I'm going to start with the first thing I've picked out, and that was um, the Tea Tree Witch Hazel Nose Pore Strips from Boots. Um... I've been look I've been looking to try nose pore strips to be honest because my pores are quite bad on my nose and I've seen a lot of people saying oh you get addicted to them you see how much dirt's come out of your nose and things like that so I thought I'd give it a try and I wasn't as impressed as I to be honest would be and uh, I thought they would, well be a, they work a bit better they just come in like a strap like this and it's like this just a strip really and you take it off and you just put it on you wet your nose and you just put them on your nose wait for it to go hard and then just pour it off, it does hurt a bit, it makes your eyes water a little bit when you take them off, it's a bit painful, but um, yeah, I thought they'd work a little bit better, they do, it cleared it for a bit, but to be honest, I didn't notice much of a difference, I kind of regret buying them, they're about £3.99 I think, and they were the cheapest ones, I don't know whether it's because they were just cheap ones or what, but yeah, it says it, Deep cleans and tightens pores and instantly removes dirt oil on blackheads, but no, it doesn't. But yeah, so if any of you have got any other ones that I could try that you know work, then let me know because I have to try some of the other ones. Um, some other things I bought was I've got two Gemma Kid products, and I've never bought really bought Gemma Kid things before. Um, and I went into TK Maxx, and they usually have a lot of um, beauty stuff in there. And these were just in a little pouch together for 4 99 so I thought I'd have a try on them. Uh, this is the Gemma Kid um, Makeup School Mascara in... It's just in black, really. Yeah, just black. Where is it? Black 01, I think it's called. Oh, it's not working. Oh, well. Uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, clumpy mascara. But it definitely makes your lashes like more false looking than uh, other mascaras. And I don't, I can't use this one on its own as it is quite a uh, wet mascara. So it definitely needs a dry mascara just to go over the top with to straighten out. But it is a really nice mascara. It's called Eye Glamour Volume Mascara. It's definitely worth it for four ninety nine for both of them. So it works out as about three pound fifty. I'm not sure how much they are in shops, but yeah, it's very. It's a very nice mascara, and yeah, I I did have it in a blue, but I've never tried coloured mascaras before, and I didn't really want to risk it. Yeah, I might do later, but not yet. But yeah, and the other item that came in that pack was the uh, lip gloss, and it's the Gemma Kid Makeup School lip gloss. Uh, like it's like a pinky kind of blossomy colour. It matches my nails kind of, and it's got a little bit of glitter in it if you can see that just like that and uh, it's got a wand brush and it's quite a thin uh, lip gloss which is what I like about it and it's very long lasting so you don't have to reapply it as many times it's not as sticky so the wind doesn't when it blows your hair around it doesn't stick it as much so it's really good and I'm really glad I've got this in the pack for £3.50 I mean or £2.50 whatever it work out as and it's in the colour of Blossom so that matches my glossy box that I got the other day but yeah, so that's really nice and I really, really, really like this one. And I'll definitely buy this again in maybe different colours because it's not as, it doesn't come out in that colour. It just adds shine really, so it's not really pigmented or anything. But I don't really like them, that's what lip, lipsticks are for if I'm honest. But this is a lip gloss, so it should just be glossy. And that's what I like about it. So that was that one. Uh, some other stuff I got from the Makeup Academy. I just got the uh, their eyeshadows. And I was quite disappointed. I don't know. I didn't notice it when I bought it, but there's a damaged bit on my actual one there. So I was quite a bit upset with that. But um, I've tried all the other Makeup Academy um, eyeshadows. They're just the separate pots one that are a pound each, and they're really pigmented and really nice. And I was hoping these would be the same, but to be honest, they're not as pigmented as um, the other ones are. They don't really sharp at all. You're supposed to use them together, as it tells you on the back show you how to do it it says oh you've got to define a line the dark with the dark shade blend the shadow with the mid shade and highlight with the light shade but I've tried it and to be honest it doesn't I'm not very impressed with it 
and it's called Trio Eyeshadow in Pink Sorbet. And to be, if that was really pigmented, it'd be really nice to use on its own, but no. But that was about two pounds, two pound fifty. And I mean, I'd stick to the separate, separate ones that sold on their own. But it is really good. I do love Makeup Academy ones. This colour came out quite nice, but I didn't use that much of it. But it's starting to be a bit weird now. But yeah, that was quite it's all right, I suppose. And the other Makeup Academy get I got was the Matte Perfect Loose Powder Shine Control. And this was a new one, their new uh, range that they've got in there with the Matte Perfect ones. And the only colour I could find was Translucent. And I'm not sure what other colours they had or whether there is any other colours. But I just stick to this one because this is the one I usually get anyway. And it's you get a quite a lot for £2. You get a, a large pot of um, powder, loose powder. And it's just in... It's just a loose powdery. Now I used a uh, quite a thick brush, a um, more of a blusher brush rather than the foundation brush and it's very good for if you've got a uh, thicker more like liquidy foundation you just put it over the top of that and it takes off the shine completely and makes it look much more natural and putting over your, if you put it over your eyes a bit it does make it a uh, more skin colour your eyes can go a bit pale when you wake up in the morning so that that is really good to put on that and for £2 really for a loose powder pot that's really good so yeah and I'm quite pleased with the stuff I bought and that was just one that was just a mini haul for you and I'll be putting other videos up soon thanks